<laughs> okay, okay, stop, cut, no, we're not doing this. So let's get into it. How about you let's, describe me some? Uh, okay, hold on. We got to introduce this. Welcome to the spoopy Halloween podcast. Ooh, We're using spooky voices, even though we spooky voices. voices. I mean, I could. I'm not using my voice changer. Do you want me to? No, don't worry about it. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> hell okay. yeah dude. that was beautiful <laughs> so this is like kind of a special that we put together um that's gonna release on halloween because you know what we fucking love halloween and it's not like we're like oh we love halloween more than christmas but like i'm just saying like christmas is boring um i love halloween more than christmas i love halloween but i'm gonna be honest i love thanksgiving not because of the historical aspect but because you just literally show up it's the one holiday where it's like, yeah, just show up and fucking eat, dog. Like, yeah, the other the other ones are like, yeah, that's like in the background. It's not like the main thing. But this one's like, dog, eat until your fucking any belly button becomes an Audi. I don't give a fuck. So you're right. I fucking it's, love it's it. It's really it's it's underrated. In fact, last Thanksgiving I had barbecue. Oh, you bitch. And- the Thanksgiving before that, I went to my buddy Rob's place, and he's a he's a veteran living in a farmhouse. And him and his buddies got together, and all these old veterans from like Louisiana, Texas. Florida, Please don't tell me you guys places. fucked a cow. We all fucked <laughs> a cow. No, <laughs> um, everyone made like perspective dishes. Um, one dude fried a whole turkey. Nice. Um, we had that all kinds of traditional. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with the it's still alive. Actually, it's screaming while I've been into it. Um, <laughs> we did that, of course, before we. Fried. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, we, we had these tremendous dishes, and it was super awesome. Well, it was amazing. I think to get in the Halloween spirit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a little game. Let's play a game, right? <laughs> um, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> hold on, I gotta pull up this thing. Um, it's gonna take a little bit, I'm but sure. we are going to play a game uh, because I'm a chicken shit and I don't watch a lot of movies. Uh, Tar is going to describe a movie, and I'm going to guess the title. Uh, scary movies, in case scary you movies. Ex- it yeah, excuse me. Sorry. Um, let me double check what my settings are with my mic, and then we should be able to go. <laughs> what? Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Um, what is happening? Okay. Did you put something on with your voice changer? No, I would. Can you hear me? It sounds very bad. Hold on a sec. Let me. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Um, let me see something here. Okay, hold on. Let me just get rid of it then. I don't need it that bad. It sounded like really tinny. He sounded like uh, a tickle in the Elmo that fell in the bathtub. Yes, that's way better. Okay. Well, we'll just fucking forget that part. I was going to do some shit, but... uh, Your voice... Okay. Your voice triggered a very deep fear in me because of the tickle me Elmo incident. Well, you're a bitch. Um, Okay. So... Go ahead and describe your first movie. Okay. So, um, I'm going to start out with the classics. We'll see how that goes, and then I'll start throwing some (laughs) curveballs. All right. So, um, there are, like, four or five college students 
Um, uh, all of them. All of them. All every <laughs> scary movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I thought I was the. I thought I was the horror flick fiend, and you were the one that didn't watch them. But you guessed that pretty well. Fucking all of them. It's always like some chick with a tits out or some shit, and they're like, "Oh, oh we're going on a trip, and let's smoke some weed." And then the ghost is like, "I'm gonna put it in your butthole," and then you're like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yes holy yeah. shit okay okay so um let's see here so um a kid drowned in a large body of water um and this like really upset a Karen um fast forward a little bit later and there's a, a gathering to educate children uh, in between school season and uh, slightly older children that are perceived as adults are often employed to uh, help with these proceedings and while they are here at the reopening of this learning facility people start to get murdered of course starting with the people having premarital sex because you know is this what follows nope fuck nope um let me know if you would like more hints yeah more hints more hints okay so said karen goes on a killing spree but it turns out her son actually comes back uh, after her death and it's implied that maybe he was always alive but to be honest they left it kind of open-ended i'm sure there's someone who's way more obsessed with this series than i am okay quick quick uh blurb here i don't watch scary movies i don't care for scary movies i think they're stupid and all i do is laugh through them um there's only been a few that have scared me, but I was a kid, so... Um, fucking... I know what you did last summer? Nope. Is that... Um, no? Can't can't blame you there. My, my description was definitely... Uh, I tried to be a little vague, because I feel like if... Well, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't watch these movies, so I'm not gonna get the, head, the title dead on, so... Right, right. Well, if I named the learning facility or the body of water, I think that would be probably a dead giveaway. They have water. If I named the weapon of choice, too, that would just be too easy. Does this drag me to hell or something? No, no. no. <laughs> oh, you just got like a bunch of titles up on your computer? No, I'm just, I'm literally looking at Discord, just like watching our little green <laughs> bubbles go away. Um, oh, no kidding. I don't know. Fucking scream? Is it scream? So it's a summer camp, and they had to reopen the summer camp since the drowning of this young boy. Camp Lejeune, Camp Fear, Camp Stupid, Camp Big Titties. <laughs> Is it Camp Big Titties? Because there's Dude, always like big titties in those fucking movies. I wish. Um, machete. There's a machete involved. Oh, I was going to say machete. The machete is it, is it Jason? Is it like a lake? Yeah, yeah, Jason Vore here, Lake Crystal, uh, Camp Crystal Lake, Friday the Thirteenth. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, I was close. I didn't get it, but yeah, I'm close. You good? You good? We still got plenty more. I just um was trying to be careful about how I described it, but maybe I was too Lake Titty Caca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, those are the <laughs> best lakes. <laughs> uh, like poo poo and like Titty Caca because we're adults and that's funny. Uh, okay, another one. Um, another one. Yeah, yeah. So this dude really likes killing kids a lot, and Freddy. that ended up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Am I um, right? right? Yeah, yeah. It's Freddy Krueger. Nice. Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> there you go. All okay. right. Okay. That's so true. there's this box. And some would call it 
the box. This is Hellraiser. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there you okay, go. So I'm okay. sure you you were yeah you were a little more savvy to that one. I found out to send a few out there that because I was subjected to 27 hours of those fucking movies. Right. Awesome. Right. Hell yeah. Okay. So <laughs> there's this. <laughs> <laughs> there's this volleyball team and they decide they're going to have a slumber party and incidentally a dude breaks out of a nut house and decides he really likes killing ladies uh, particularly with a large power drill Jesus Christ yeah and so he uh, strikes this slumber party and it's pretty much a massacre it's just like I don't know. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. I don't watch a lot of these movies, so. This one's somewhat of a classic one. It's a little older. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to I stick mean, to some like of I've watched, It's not like I've watched all the classics, <laughs> but. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to stick to, like, the 70s, 80s era. I'm over here with, like, the blankest stare. <laughs> Um, no, nah, I don't know. I, I can't even think of something snooty. I would, it would be something about <laughs> cheerleaders, but it's about like a volleyball team, so it would be like, oh, yeah. I don't know, camp, uh, sleepover murder or some shit. <laughs> You're so close, really. Oh my god, what is, <laughs> it? what is it? What is it? Slumber party massacre. Oh my. <laughs> Okay. 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 Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there was this guy, and he worked in a mine with a lot of other people. Booger cat. Booger cat. You got it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so they needed, you know, safety overseers and all that because it's a legit operation, and. He went without his overseers because they were in a hurry to make it to the Valentine's Day dance. And there was a cave-in, uh, subsequent to their negligence. Um, I'll probably use that word wrong, subsequent, whatever. Their negligence caused this to happen. And um, everybody died and stuff. Um so basically they had to cancel Valentine's Day because every time they didn't cancel the dance, uh people would start getting killed and, and hearts would be so human this is my hearts bloody would be. Valentine. Yeah, you got it. That's good. I was gonna my other guest was gonna be drag me to hell for no reason. Really? Drag me to hell. That is an interesting don't, movie. Yeah, don't describe it to me. Yeah. No, I'm not going to. Not at all. Not even gonna touch it. And I'm just going to let you guess it for every other movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, no, no, bitch. All right. Hell, yeah. So um, there's this really cool guy who goes to sleep for, like, 30 years at a time. And he's totally right. Um, Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> yep. The sequel, though. They had to add it. <laughs> you know, up the ante. They added 10 more years. <laughs> it's the pre- they- fucking prequel. Nah, dude. Pretty so cool he's got the sweetest, uh, if I recall, 1947 Chevy Cobra box truck. Oh, well. Um, oh, Deeper Screamers. Oh, shit. Yeah, you probably heard me obsessing over It was the truck. truck. I only know yeah. the truck because you talk about it all the fucking time. I want that truck. I want Jesus that truck. It. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, I didn't know you cared. I, I'm so glad you <laughs> actually caught on to that. I, I thought maybe, like everyone else, your eyes would glaze over when I started obsessing over cars. <laughs> No, Beautiful. if you say it enough, I won't forget it. That's awesome. I do say it a lot. It's true. All right, all right, all right. I'll stop being so nice here soon, but okay. we, got some, we got we still got some fun stuff here. So there is this uh, mansion, and it's built on a hill with a whole lot of history. Emmyville Horror. Close. I almost watched ah. that today. Um, and these two rich people decide to throw a party there and they invite people that really need money. And they say, yo, you spend the night here, 
and we pay you a shit ton of money. Oh, that sounds so uh, familiar. The wife has much disdain for the husband and has even tried to kill him in the past. Is this 13 Ghosts? No, but I guess it's kind of similar. Um, they have their little dinner party and some freaky shit kind of goes down. Some freaky shit, by the way. Basically, you know, there's all kinds of ghosts and stuff in this house. Um, And they uh, end up having this whole uh, fiasco going on where the wife is like playing chess with the husband kind of and you don't really know about that till the end um but yeah so basically they're all up in this house uh locked in is it, overnight is it something hill house pretty close pretty close okay give me one more guess hold on let me think really hard yeah No, I don't fucking know. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's exactly the house that's haunted. I think it's the location of the house. The hill that the house is on. Is it? Oh, it's that uh, It's that newest Netflix thing. It's not Blind Manor, but it's like something Hill House, right? Oh, no. Actually, I was talking about a movie that was done in 67 or something, Jesus 64. Christ. Yeah, they remade it too. Um, Fucking Winchester Mansion? I don't know. The the house on the haunted hill. It's a bit derived. Jesus Christ. But yeah, they just, <laughs> recently, they just recently remade that. I'm going to fucking kill myself. Yeah, you good, you good. And then um, this podcast will be haunted. Oh. <laughs> So there are these aliens, right? And they can actually copy exactly what people look like. And they decide to do that um, to assume their identities to make sure that they get everybody. But then also there's, I don't know, there's not many times you actually see their ambitions. They don't really get that far. Is this Mars attacks? Is this aliens? Is this one of the aliens? Uh, sequels is this uh, Cocoon? No, no. I don't consider Cocoon to be a horror film, no, Um, but I mean, you're thinking along the right lines. They use a type of Cocoon in some of the versions. Uh, this was a very popular one, they kind of redid a few times, and uh, I feel like it's a super stupid like 1960s title. Yeah, they they steal the the like form. The others or something stupid. They 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 steal the form of the people they target. Oh my god, I fucking know what this is. Body snatchers. Something about yes. Body snatchers. Yeah. Hell yes. Fuck Hell yeah. yeah. I've never seen any of these movies. It's awesome. You're doing great. Um, oh, I don't feel like it. It's okay. Here's another softball. So there's this gelatinous creature that the blob attacks. Yep, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, there you go. You, you're better flubber. than you thought. I'm talking about flubber. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, okay, so there's this boy, and he's got pointy teeth. Uh, he's a pointy Is teeth boy. Nah. <clears throat> and pointy he, he doesn't like premier protein. He can't eat no regular food. He's got to drink like a fucking rabbit. Blood. He's got okay, so a vampire. Blood. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is this Bram yeah. Stoker's vac- Dracula? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. For real? Gary yeah. Oldsman with the fucking round shades for the win? Oh, dude, fucking no. hot ass one under writer. She's all like, and I get in a dress. I don't know. Right. Keanu Reeves was like, I've been fucked for 60 years. Oh, my hair is gray now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And it's so funny because, like, my in one movie... balls are empty. <laughs> In one movie, we stop thinking about coke dealers and oil sheiks when we see those glasses now. Now we just think oh, of vampires. It's amazing. Oh, definitely. It's amazing. Definitely. Hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We, we'll do some more. We'll do some more. I've got an endless supply. Um, 
Let's think of another classic here. Um, so there's this really big angry fish. And boy, let me tell you, there's some suspense here. Um, and it gobbles up a few people. But some greedy bastards are like, yo, uh, we're not closing no beaches. And the is sheriff's Jaws? like... Is this like Jaws yeah. or Lake Placid? <laughs> yeah, Jaws. Okay, okay. I've, never, I've actually <laughs> never seen Jaws either. Uh, okay, I was going to mention how the sheriff is like totally okay with them not reopening beaches and he decides to let his kids swim there and then it, the shark almost gets his kids and then all of a sudden he's like so amazing. Ooh, that sounds like humans though. Even though he's the one that wanted the beaches yeah, closed. Oh, it's the it's so amazing. I love it. I love it. So many good decisions. Okay, all right. So this is one of my absolute favorites. I covet this film. Okay. And I accidentally met the main character, even though I didn't pay to do so, which is what everyone else was doing. Ooh. Um, yeah, but it was very brief, and I got to officially meet him soon. Um, so these four college-age kids in a... Uh, (laughs) yeah you got it um in this beautiful yellow and white uh oldsmobile uh regal if i recall uh roll up on this uh rented out cabin in the woods (laughs) yeah that's not all of them either is it (laughs) Um, really oh my god so while they're hanging out there getting acquainted with their new surroundings um one of them runs down into the basement to be a silly goose and scare prank everyone. And the other guy goes down as well. And he finds a break action shotgun, some recordings uh, via a audio recorder. And there's even a little projector thingy and there's some notes. And then there's this book. The book is bound in human flesh and it has a face. Um, when they're going through it, trying to figure out what it is. Oh, it's written in blood, too. Um, You're going through it, trying to figure it out. Um, The recordings are playing the words necessary to awaken something in said book. Is this like a a Michael Myers movie or something? Jason? Is this a Jason movie? No. No, so Jason Voorhees, that's Friday 13th. We already covered that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So... Anyways, uh, it awakens an evil in the woods, and the evil um, possesses uh, a chick real bad-like in a bad way, and she's possessed by this evil spirit and otherwise totally dead. Um, And the same thing eventually happens to the other girl and the other guy, um, leaving the one guy to basically fight off his best friends and this terrible evil um, that has replaced their life within their dead bodies. I have no fucking idea. No kidding. I am out of guesses. It's something to do with like a lake or something. Something to do with like a cabin on a lake or. Mm. What does what does the. Uh... What does the evil have to do to these people in order to possess them, it seems? Kill them? The evil yeah. within? Close. <laughs> I don't know. The evil dead. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I mean, I've never seen any of this movie. <clears throat> yeah, dude. It's a shame because if you can power through, because I don't think you would enjoy the first two evil No, I probably movies. wouldn't. If you could power through them, you would really enjoy Army of Darkness. There's not a lot of like scary type movies that I find entertaining. Yeah. Maybe I'll just give you a crash course on the first two movies, like verbally, and then we'll watch Army of Darkness because you would love that movie. Maybe. If you don't love it, I'll destroy you. Um, I mean, I so anyways, no, I'd be destroyed. <laughs> um, but- <laughs> okay, we'll do two more. We'll do two more. Two more. All right. Okay. 
Yeah, we can do that. Let me three. Let's do three. Okay. Three? Okay, I like yeah. threes. Threes are good. Even number. Um let me <laughs> <laughs> let me uh let me deliberate though. I want these to be quite uh quite worth it, you know. All right. So let's see here. Um uh, a godlike unstoppable seven foot tall guy who Michael Myers. Was... Okay, yeah. All right. There we go. <laughs> it I, was I either that talking... or Jason. I could have been talking about Shaquille O'Neal, though. True. Um, Shaq watching was... that dude box I mean, someone was like, Shaq. I wasn't even in the ring and I was horrified. <laughs> I wouldn't want him to like swing at anything, not even fly near me. I would definitely like duck and cover. For real. So let's do let's do three more for real though, because that was too. Oh, for real? Okay, uh, yeah, that was way too easy. I haven't even seen any of those movies, and that's what I know. Movie. You guys, seriously, she does not. We watched The Mummy as children, and I think she's still scarred for life. I really, I, as a lot of shit that I've gone through as an adult, like I'm like, you know what? There's no need to fill my life with this stuff, so I don't do it. Hmm. Ye, ye. Um. I'm kind of the same way, but I've been through so many horrors that horror films are amusing to me because of how unreal they are. But, I almost got myself on that edge, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Oh my god. god, let me send you some normal people. Hear me, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> of hair. He's got oh, like a platinum. Oh yeah. Fucking tell me the movies, dumb bitch. <laughs> okay all right okay all right all right okay okay all right all right mm. okay okay all right okay all right <laughs> all right so this interdimensional world eating spider that can take the form of anybody's deepest fear because it's a bit of a telepath it uh there you go. Wow. I didn't know you knew that much about it. I, I thought for recently, sure that that was... Huh? I just I just recently watched the movie and fell asleep to it. <laughs> oh, wow. No shit. I, yeah, thought I, for sure I for that movie. I thought for sure if I left the clown aspect out, you never would have guessed no, it because I had not, no idea you saw it. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that hard because like, once the kids figure out, they're like, what's we're not afraid of? It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> And, uh, you know, then they skip the whole part in the book with, like, the little girl's like, hey, let's all fuck each other. And you're like, oh, cool. Thank you, Stephen King. I'm very happy that you wrote this in a book. I don't know why you're not locked up. And he's like, ha, free speech, ideas. And you're like, cool. <laughs> yep, you gotta love authors. You know, he hates yeah. Halloween. You know, Stephen that's, King hates Halloween. That's bizarre. He should probably shut his mouth on that if, you know, since he makes so much money off halloween -y stuff. Basically, but I think it's because he was describing it because like everyone shows up to his place, like they know where he lives. Oh, uh, like, yeah, that everyone, is kind of and they're like expecting like some sort of spectacle, and he's like, Oh my god, go the fuck away. But I'm like, That's uh, not Halloween's fault. That's kind of like why I don't like Christmas, though. If you think about it, the whole family is always super happy and they look at me expecting some sort of spectacle. And I'm just like, <laughs> Well, I'm always know. looking at you. We're, we're like <laughs> expecting a spectacle. I don't care what time I, I mean, it is. I guess I am rather spectacular. Uh, I wouldn't say spectacular, but you're definitely outrageous. <laughs> mm, yeah, well, that's true. Yeah. Outrageous. <laughs> crazy. Okay. We got one more. Let's go. Okay. Wait, I thought there was two more. I don't fucking know. Just go. Okay, 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 okay. So okay, okay. there's this guy who really appreciated killing, and he was in Chicago in a housing project called the Cabrini Greens. And he killed so good that he was an urban legend. And if you were to say his name seven times, he would be obliged to show up and kill you. Ooh. Does that oh, mean yeah, he, anything? Hmm? He really liked bees. <laughs> well, that, that, that's not Candy exactly. Man. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow, I didn't think right? that would have been such a giveaway, yeah. I only know that because I've seen so many clips of it on YouTube. And he just shows up and there's like fucking bees everywhere and she's like, oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, bees and him, they go way back. <laughs> Is, did Wesley Snipes play, play him? 
I, Am I wrong? Who played him? I don't, know, I don't think so. I know I uh, the only reason I know what Candyman is is <laughs> I know this actor um, is because of fucking um, what's it called? <gasps> Tyler. Tar. Tar. There is a new Candyman trailer that was just released on October 12th of this year. Yeah, I'm already on that. <laughs> what? Yep. I don't know how to feel about it, actually. I'm not very... Dude, Jordan Peele is, like, a really good director. That's true. That's very true. I just don't have much ambition from very many remakes. It's going to be 2021. I think Jordan Peele's going to do a really good job. Okay. I, I certainly hope so. Anyway, there's only right. one villain with bees, and it's Candyman, so that was easy. Thank you. That's very true. That's very true. Okay, one more. Okay. Okay. So, a... Family that really loves barbecue. Uh, they have a son. He's pretty great, but you know he's he's different. He's special. He's a little different mentally. Um, they all get an unexpected visit from some visitors. If I recall, I think it were five college age kids this time uh, in a very beautiful 1970s era van um and what was it i think it was a ford van like 70 anyways um so they first kind of bump into these kids when uh the brother is out hitchhiking he's having a good time he tries to sell them a uh, very beautiful photograph, actually. Remarkable photograph he took of them. It's kind of candid, this, but... The hell, is this The Hills Have Eyes or Wrong Turn? Nope. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, they don't want to pay for the uh, picture. They're a bunch of assholes, and they don't appreciate art. So um, basically, they, they turn the brother loose, and then they go off and admire some run-down, shitty house that they grew up in. It's kind of dumb. They're being pretty sentimental. Um, and then they okay. go ahead. Huh? Silent Hill? Nope. Okay. They break into this family's home. So this family, you know, does the only natural thing you would really do is they defended their property uh, quite valiantly um, using multiple implements, uh, one motorized weapon. And... Uh, they, they they kill these kids and barbecue them up real good, sell them at the uh, gas station that they run. Um, and then in the next movie, they've expanded their operation. Um, they've left, uh, what was it? I think Williamson County, Texas. And they move on to Dallas. And they win. So it's not Chainsaw Massacre, right? It is, yeah. It is? Uh -huh. yeah. I've never yeah. seen any of those movies. I don't know what the fuck they're about. Nice, dude. Well, you did all Texas, right. I just said Chainsaw Massacre. There you go. I thought about making like a prequel. Call it like Arkansas Bandsaw Murder. Um, right? If that, that goes good enough, we could do like Louisiana Hacksaw Injury. I don't know. I, you know, you could be there. The the New York steel mill uh, fucking soldering. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing we have on our Halloween to-do list would we should each take a quiz to see which supervillain we are, basically. And I found this which one on How Stuff Works. Um, which super that we can we take together, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Which, uh, uh, okay, which, uh, after, horror after movie that, villain are you? If if we do this timely enough, we should also see which horror movie victim we are. Oh, yeah, that would be a good one, too. Okay. All right, let me fly through this quiz here. Oh, I click the picture instead of the one. I'm just gonna, through. I'm gonna read mine. So, are you are going on another killing spree? What do you wear? So, here are the choices. Several outfits to keep up with appearances. Black coveralls help hide blood the best. Meh, whatever I feel, whatever I find laying around the house. Nothing. That way there's no laundry. 
formal wear, people tend to hurt themselves more than I do. I'm going to say several outfits to keep the appearances. Hmm. I'm going with whatever I find laying around the house because that's what I do on the regular. <laughs> okay, where is your hunting ground? This says galaxies and universes. This one says the Midwest. This one says the depths of the human mind. This one says somewhere where near water where you could hear the peaceful sound of water, obviously, while your victims meet their maker. This one says the world is my hunting ground. Why limit myself? I kind of like yeah, galaxies and universes. I'm going to say that seems a lot more unlimited than the world. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, yeah. Uh, um, let's see. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm tempted to go with the Midwest because that's kind of why I came out here. Totally kidding. Uh, um, the world is enticing, but I like psychological stuff. I'm going the depth of the human mind. You, uh-huh. Let's say you need to take a break from killing. Where would you take a vacation? This is the Mulu underground caves in Borneo. Home to visit with family. Anywhere there are books or give music. The Mariana Trench. Okay. A gaming convention. I'm going to click a gaming convention because I go to those all the fucking time. Before I love gaming conventions too, but I also love caverns and stuff. So I'm going to go with the uh, Mulu Underground Caves. All right. Are you in good health? Oh, yes. A matter of fact, I've had several children and have kept my figure. (laughs) Okay. I'm in wonderful shape. One would say I'm invincible. Nice. I'm in great condition for being dead. I'm not dead. Um, I have good days and bad days. Mentally, I'm here. Physically, I'm on death's door. Yikes. <laughs> I think you I'm going to say, I'm not, I'm I'm gonna say I have good days. I have bad days. <laughs> Mentally, I'm here. Physically, I'm on death's door. <sighs> but I'm also super dead inside, but in great condition considering that. True. Mm, it's a toss-up. I'm going to say... Mentally, I'm here. Physically, I'm or no. I'm gonna say great condition for being dead. Okay, that's long over. What kind of music do you listen to? <laughs> music that has a mysterious vibe to it and gives a room a nice dark ambience. Progressive rock like Blue Oyster Cult. Comedy rock like They Might Be Giants or Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> Definitely music that flows and creates a serene, peaceful vibe. Classical music like Mozart and Beethoven. Mm. Uh, none of these really so, actually hit me so the only one I recognize I mean Blue is your cult, cult and I'm gonna do the oh, weird owl one Psychic Wars by Blue Oyster Cult just saying that's my jam is that Blue um, Oyster Cult for some reason I thought yeah. that was um, I always mix them and Pearl Jam up I know they're completely different very different yeah I, I listen to all of this stuff, but like when I'm focusing, which I would imagine a horror villain would want to do is focus, I actually hella dig on some dark synth wave playlists here lately. So Come on. I'm going with the music with the mysterious vibe. Ooh, where's my fedora? Holy Ooh. shit. Okay. Let's say you need to make ends meet between murder sprees. What do you see yourself doing? Pediatric nurse, babysitter, landscaper, swim instructor, a writer of personality tests. I'm going to say landscaper. Hmm. That's funny. I was kind of tempted to do landscaper as well. Dude, none of those other ones like are me ever. Yeah, pretty much. I'll do yard work. Actually, me and you did some landscaping together on always. our free time. Yeah, always. <laughs> this and... boxwood bushes were crazy, but oh, then we had shit. those chicken donut sandwiches. Oh, bro. Shit, they're so good. Oh my god, Astro Chicken. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite holiday? Mother's Day, Halloween, April? Day, Father's Day, New Year's Day. Okay, I fucking hate New Year's Eve. And Mother's Day and Father's Day, I don't give a fuck about. Yeah, I don't same. care about April Fool's Day, so obviously Halloween. I love April Fool's Day, but you can prank people on Halloween is clearly superior. True. Okay. What is your favorite month? January, October, April, August, September. I pick September. August. I love August. I <laughs> love summertime, <laughs> and I love Interesting. Okay. What is your weapon fucking, of choice? What? I was gonna say I fucking hate April. April and May are such garbage year months, dude. Uh, I beg to differ. Okay. Um, what is your favorite weapon of choice? 
a small army that I can control. Anything can be a weapon if you use it right. Definitely something that leaves a distinctive mark. Rows and rows of teeth. My victims are my favorite weapons. Mm, look at that. I'm going to click. I kind of, what? I kind of like the anything motto because it's totally right. Uh-huh. But I do tend to bite a little bit. So I'm also looking into the rows of teeth. Well, I'm stuck between. Ooh, sorry, I'm not yawning. Uh, d- definitively something that leaves a distinctive mark or anything can be a weapon if you use it right. Yeah, I'm stuck between those two because, like, you know, you want to you wanna have, like, some sort of ethics, some sort of standard, and why not a signature as well, you know? I'll say anything um, can be a weapon if you use it right. Okay, then I'm definitely, I'll go with the distinctive one. Okay, <laughs> Even though I feel like if you or I ever became killers, it would totally be the other way around. I would be a spur of the really? moment brawler, and you would be like, "Ooh, here's this special thing." <laughs> That's interesting. Because if mine happened, it would be spur of the moment because I was stuck in traffic. Um, yeah, be spur of the moment, but you would have a weapon you would go to. Whereas if I got into a fight, I'd be in a room full of weapons, but I'd grab like a tennis ball or something and be like. <laughs> 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 You're thinking way too much. <laughs> um, what kind of victims do you choose? Anyone in my way? Hormone crazed teens? Whoever you want. You're not picky. Ones that look good enough to eat. People involved with corruption. They need to pay. I'm gonna do the corruption one. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, nice. You got standards. I'm totally the ones that look good enough to eat. Okay. What kind of books do you like to read? Science fiction, romance, satire, adventure, or mystery? Jeez, all of those except for romance. Well, I would like to have a selection that says I don't fucking read because I ain't no boot. I'm just kidding. Got him. <laughs> I read, and it's most likely going to be adventure or satire. I'm going science fiction. Ooh. When did you start killing people? You were born out of blood claiming your first kill. You killed your first victim when you were a child. You found your passion after you died. You killed when you were a toddler. You needed to eat somehow. When you rage against a corrupt system, finally made you snap. Okay, I'm going to pick that one. Nice. I'm going to go with, (laughs) you found your passion after you died. Cool. The authorities are onto you and closing in. What kind of shoes are you wearing to make your sure you escape? What? What the fuck? Shoes? Okay. Stilettos. You can be fashionable and flee. Okay. Work boots. You need some kind of shock absorption in case you jump from a window. I don't think work boots do that, but okay. You wouldn't get caught. Nah, I dig that one. You mean to tell me? You mean to tell me you've never window tested your work boots? I'm going to be honest with you, work boots stiffen up your ankles and fucking make you an, a, like a cement shoed goon. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally me with these your boots. Your back is going to fucking hurt, yeah. It's um, roller skates. Anything that can help guide you to safety. Oh, glide That's, you. Excuse me. That's amazing. No shoes are needed. You work remotely, so the authorities trip the alarm. You can slip into an intricate maze of traps. I'm going to say I wouldn't get caught because <laughs> I'm a cocky bitch. Dang, I was going to go with that too. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> Are you easily angered? Not really, but if someone attacks your family, watch out. Yes. No. <laughs> when you are unnecessarily provoked, you get angry. You tend to get angry when someone disagrees with your beliefs. <laughs> I'm going with... I go, no. I go fuck. No kidding. Yeah, I'm not easily angered either, but when I'm unnecessarily provoked... Sometimes. Hmm. What is your favorite television show? The Martha Stewart Show. Okay. Um, any home repair show? No. The Simpsons? Eh. Fish Tank Kings? What? What the fuck is Fish Tank Kings? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Jeopardy. But none of those. I mean, I know The Simpsons, so I'm going to click on that. 
Yeah, I'm kind of in a box here, too, because all of these shows kind of suck ass, but The Simpsons is all right, I guess. Yeah. What is your favorite type of horror movie? Deep space thriller, indie film, slasher, deep sea thriller, psychological thriller. I guess I'll go with psychological. Space. Space. I really like slashers. Fucking Event Horizon. Yeah, say so that's what that's what get it. I, I normally it was slasher or body horror, but deep space is usually a little bit of both. So, ooh, you got a soft spot for deep space. 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 Um, where is your favorite place on the body to strike to kill? Heart, throat, chest, anywhere, brain. Hmm. That's the thing, isn't it? You know. The heart, that would be too quick for a horror monster. Like what, you know? Ooh, they, they, they're dead, you know? Throat's a bit overdone, and I don't want to be a vampire. Um, chest is always vague in the horror films. People just survive endless blows to the chest, but you touch their neck and they fall down dead immediately. It's weird. Huh. Let's say That's anywhere. The main artery going into it. Right. But, you know, there's nothing important in the chest. People get I do impaled. find it funny that movies make it look like being stabbed in the chest is like the easiest thing ever. Like, there's a whole plate of bones there. It's gonna slide down the front of your skin. And yeah, it's weird, right? Like the the, the knife. The knife is always making a noise, so you know it's a knife. And then, like, if you're not careful, it just like accidentally falls right through the chest cavity and the cartilage. It makes humans stuff. look like butter. Yeah. Right. I, love that. I think knives are noisier in action movies, though, because oh, yeah, as soon right. as you pull it out of the sheath, it's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> somebody like check out that knife. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I went with anywhere. Oh, I went with heart, because I want to be an efficient killer. I don't give a fuck. Um, Dang, what is your favorite sympathy. food to eat, huh? This kind of sympathy for your victims, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I want to kill a lot of people. I don't have time to fucking sit there and watch them go, ah, ooh, ee, ah. Dang, dude. Um, All I can think of is the guy from Red Dragon thinking <laughs> to impress the blind chick. He's like, oh, um, I, I have no sympathy. <laughs> God, like, that movie's fucked uh, up. Okay. What is your favorite food to eat? Protein shakes, anything sweet, salad. You'll eat anything in fish. Well, fish is totally out for me because I fucking hate seafood. Um, I won't. I'm gonna be honest. I, me personally, I feel like I would eat anything, but I probably like that statement is just too absurd. Salad, no, thank you. Anything sweet, Ugh. so I guess I'm going with protein shakes. Okay, that's interesting. I I basically could eat anything, and I think that's why I'm having the medical problems I'm having right now. Um. But I have, I have a head full of thirty-two sweet teeths. I'm gonna go with sweet. Nice. After a long day of murdering, you love to come home to a pet. What kind of animal is it? A snake, a cat, a fox, a goldfish, an owl. I'm totally picking a fox. Oh, you already know what I picked. Snake. I picked a fucking snake. Yeah. What is your favorite color? Purple, black, green, blue, red. Um, oh, I'm stuck between black and green. I picked red, like, immediately. I <laughs> picked green. While out window shopping, something grabs your attention, and you must have it. What is it? Elegant piece of clothing. A mask. A snazzy hat. A wetsuit. A game or puzzle. I guess an elegant piece of clothing, because any of that shit, I don't give a fuck about. I'm stuck between hat and a game or a puzzle, and I think I'm going to go game or puzzle. Okay. What is the one thing in your kitchen that you can't live without? Your food processor, your cutlery set, your assortment of graters and zesters, your water filter, your cookbooks. I'm obviously going to say my fucking cutlery set. All that other stuff is just superfluous. Mm. That's interesting. Kind of tempted to go many routes with this because, like, I, I like cookbooks, but they're all in my brain. They're, they're the ones I made, you know? Sure, right, man. I'm pretty weird about the water I drink. Water filter's quite important. And you literally can't live without water, I'm just saying. Uh, hmm. But yeah, I think you can get anything done with 
the the cutlery, I suppose. Seems to be a very logical choice. Mm, yeah. Yeah. He. I'm gonna go with water filter though, since you chose cutlery. <laughs> okay. What do you fear most? Losing my family, being in prison, fire, being attacked, death. I'm gonna say being imprisoned. Holy shit. Yeah, that's scarier than anything else. Yeah. When you're not, if they were like, like if they were like, "Yo, you're about to lose your family unless you go to jail," I'd be like, "Dang, that's a shame." <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm gonna miss like my family. Idea of, like not having like relative freedom. Um, when you're not on a killing spree, where would you like to hang out? At home, a school, a comedy club, an aquarium, a library. <sighs> I mean, I guess probably at home. I don't know, because COVID's so crazy recently. I'm just going to say at home. Right. Um, does Barnes & Noble count as a library? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Jeez. Oh, what else would you it know, fucking count as? You know they're serving, serving food now. Maybe they're a restaurant. They have alcohol. I mean, all right. It's pretty rad. It's a bar. <laughs> it's a bar with books. It's, it's a bar. Know. Um... If you were to attend a party, which personality would suit you best? Socializing with others, showing photos of your children or pets to anyone who is willing to look, quietly lurking in the corner watching others, joking the parting it up, joking and parting parting it up. I guess they meant partying. You're the life of the party. Fluttering from group to group, getting to know anyone. Expressing your opinion, every party girl or passing judgment on them. Uh, I wouldn't lurk because that's just, eh, it depends on the party, but I guess I'll joke and right. party it up. If I show up with one person, I lurk for a little while, but then I flutter from group to group and get to know mm-hmm. everyone. And that sounds a little less creepy, so I'm going to go with the fluttering one. Okay, so our next one is if you were, oh, whoops. <laughs> What pattern appeals most to you? White stars on a purple background, red polka dots, red and green stripes, blue paisleys, white and wait, black and white swirls. I'm gonna do white stars on a purple background because I like stars, but I don't know what the rest of this bullshit is. Black and white swirls for for real though. Yeah. Every killer needs his trophy. What would be yours? Something for the kids. Their clothes, nothing. License plate for my victims' cars. Their contacts. It makes hunting easier. I want nothing. I give a fuck. Dang, it's a shame their skin isn't an option. <sighs> um, of course, you know I I might collect their license plates since it's probably their license plates that <laughs> that caused me to do it. True. <laughs> Oh, God. I rode rage. I'm not going to lie. I rode obsessed. All right. Um, what is your favorite candy? Plate. Anything I can share? Snickers, Laffy Taffy, Jawbreakers. Species definitely Snickers. Sorry. Hands down. Yeah, I'm going to have to actually uh, actually go with that. Anything I can share? Who the fuck? Who yeah. shares their candy? Uh, yeah. Fucking no one. Psycho. Um, after a long day, what room is your favorite in your home? The kitchen, the bathroom, anywhere you can lurk, the basement, the bedroom. I'm going to say anywhere I can lurk because that's pretty much yeah. like I like to choose the biggest room in whatever I'm in and that's where I hang out. Exactly. So I was going to pick the same thing, but if I ever had a basement as an option, that's hands down always going to be what it is. So yeah. I'm just going to choose basement. Um, you're at a carnival. What ride do you go on first? The tunnel of love, roller coaster, tilt a whirl, log flumes, the fun house. Uh, roller coaster always. Yeah. That being said, like carnivals are the traveling ones, right? Mm hmm. I might go fun house because I don't know. I don't trust something that can be taken down and put together by weird people so quickly like if i'm at a theme park it's nothing but roller coasters <laughs> but yeah i don't know i'm gonna go to the fun house all right i got freddy krueger you are freddy krueger you are an insanely creative and intelligent individual 
often perceived as an outcast by society. Your wit is as deadly as a scorpion sting. I guess it depends on the scorpion. And you have a dark sense of humor. The humor is so dark that you will crack a joke at the most inopportune times and usually cause general discomfort amongst others. Um, oh, dude, but fear not, there are tons of people out there like you and they're just waiting for you to come have a laugh with them. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder if I changed my last uh, answer. Nope, doesn't even change it. I, I am Freddy. I'm your boy. So I got Freddy as well. No fucking way. Did you, after you changed the ones you were stuck between, did you, well, oh, never mind. I refreshed mine and I still got Freddy Krueger. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually changing it. Um, well, okay, so I've got a scary story to tell you. Uh, well, actually, it may not apply to you, but it's a scary story to my coworkers. You ready? Oh, no. One day. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, one day. Young woman woke up. It was a foggy morning in October. It was raining. She came into work and she realized that her inbox was not full of emails and that all of her coworkers had actually started doing their fucking jobs. Fucking horror film. That's definitely an omen of some sort of fucking bad son, and then everybody fucking died. The San Andreas fault broke off, and the Marion Trent Mariana Trench fucking filled with lava, and we all fucking died. Wow. So that's pretty wild. Of course. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I didn't really actually have a scary story to tell you guys. I'm gonna say pretty good horror film for for one of my coworkers. Hey uh my most recent ex coworker would have been once upon a time there was a guy who went to work and he had to wait to smoke pot till he got home with his dumb ass. <laughs> Fucking moron. <laughs> Stupid dumb motherfucking bitch. <laughs> okay. Well that's pretty much all I have for so we have a really awesome clip for you guys. It's about an AI that that watched over a thousand hours of the Saw movies and wrote a script. So what we're going to have next for you guys is uh, a piece from that script. But before we cut away to that script, we want to say thank you guys. Happy Halloween. Enjoy not being yourself to avoid the dead. And, uh, you know, just f- fucking tight, man. We know we've got elections coming up and a whole bunch of bullshit. Just, just be good to each other. This Halloween, it's a Saturday. It's a blue moon. Um, I'm just going to say this. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. But here's the next part. I can't stress this enough. Don't get caught doing anything I would do. <laughs> so... There you go. Have fun and be bad. It's the Mar and Tar Show. <laughs> Saw none. Saw with the bot, the bang, the bang, diggy, diggy, diggy. Intro. Whale. A sexy woman. Becky sex woman. It's covered in blood. Chained to a bed. She's in a whale, but doesn't know it yet. Ah, blood is supposed to be inside my body, not outside it. An old TV turns on. We know it's old because it's covered in cobwebs and voted for rule seven. The doll from the other movies appears on the screen, but this time he's sexier. We know he's sexier because he's covered in sex webs. Oh, hello, Becky. Want to play a game? Uh, Yes, uh, of course. Don't be silly. Yes, 100%. Mm, Game, please. 
Becky still doesn't realize she's inside a whale. Becky, you are inside a whale. Becky now realizes she's inside a whale. She's fine with it. <laughs> I hid the key to this whale inside your pancreas. <gasps> oh, good thing I'm a pancreas doctor. But since I know you're a pancreas doctor, I took it out of your pancreas and put it into one of your kidneys. <laughs> the cool one, the cool kidney. Oh, fuck. I don't know kidneys. A countdown starts counting down from one hour on the TV. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is that? I didn't do that. Who did that? The whale did that. <laughs> God, so that was fucking... pretty good. That was a pretty good read through, I think. Oh, and we want to say that that was from a user on Twitter named Keaton Patty. And they posted that on March 1st, 2018. Okay, okay, stop, cut, no, we're not doing this. <laughs>